Okay, welcome back. And uh, I thought it'd be useful just to sort of run through the uh, operator controls on this case tractor. So, obviously, the main sort of things in front of us we've got the uh, steering wheel, we've got the shuttle here. Okay, so that's for backwards and forwards and neutral. We've got pedals on the floor. So, that is your exhaust brake. This tractor is a 50k tractor. Uh, relying on air brakes, um, but also it's got an exhaust brake to uh, help slow the tractor down. You sort of your cl clutch pedal. It's not heavy. It's very very light. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will call that an inching pedal, where you're doing your sort of your uh, reverse nuts and machines. Your brake pedals. Two brake pedals on the tractor. Uh, so we've got independent braking. So right hand brake, left hand brake, uh, and then when. Uh, which we use in field work, and then you can lock them together with both brakes. Foot throttle, okay, obviously uh, allows you to speed and slow the tractor. And then we've got this sort of the the, the armrest here. So uh, we've got the sort of the multi controller, uh, which again does your forward and back. Uh, so forward shuttle, reverse shuttle, and then this, this does your gears. So this transmission is a is an active eight transmission. So a bit it's a power a power shift transmission. Um, so basically, uh, no uh, so sort of no manual gear changes. It's all done on uh, push buttons. Uh, remote valves, and then we've got up and down on the linkage. Okay, here and also this one here acts as the hand throttle as well. So when you're in field work, you need to set constant uh, PTO speed. We can use this or whatever we're doing with the tractor. Um, if we look down here, lots of buttons here, okay, um, but the main ones that we would use sort of front, ax front axle suspension lock, four wheel drive, diff lock, okay, and we would also use uh, our PTO management buttons as well, okay. The rest of the buttons are not, they're here but they're not actually linked to the tractor. And also for fine adjustment, when we're hitching up machinery, we have our lift control on this dial as well. So we can use this for hitching up, so we get a bit more of a precise control, okay? Um, and also to set um, height um, in work, if we need the implement to stay at a certain height or, um, or uh, adjust depth, working depth. This one here is uh, something called, we call draft, draft control or position control, so if we, um, if we have it all the way down here, it's in draft, and then if we turn it all the way into nine, it's in position. Okay, so very important to know that. PTO, okay, so obviously there's a lot of safety devices with this one, so you can't just knock it in. It's literally lift up, forward, and the PTO is engaged on this tractor. Okay, and then literally knock it back to switch it off. Small levers. Okay, so these operate anything that we've got on the back of the tractor, so pushing out a hitch, uh, tip of the trailer, uh, anything that requires uh, hydraulic power. PTO uh, speed selector, so we've got 1000, 540E and 540. Okay, and then under this armrest, we've got some other controls. So we've got lift height um, limiter, so we'd, if we don't want a machine to lift up too high, okay, we can uh, limit the height. Uh, drop response, um, so again if we had a plough um, and we were doing some stuff in the yard, some maintenance, we don't want that to crash down on the floor on the concrete so we can slow that down so the hydraulics go down nice and slow. And then we've got draft uh, sensitivity um, which we can use in field work operations. And then sort of the other sort of operator controls really, uh, we've got a battery isolator switch there, we've got a hydraulic lock off, um, and then we've got our other con sort of things like work lights, uh, heated mirrors, we've got the air conditioning, heater controls, and then uh, our mirror control, okay, and then we've got all our dials down here, okay, so when you turn the ignition on, they all light up, so you've got your fuel gauge, your temperature gauge, and you've got your warning symbols that will come up, so part brakes on, engine oil pressure uh, symbol there, battery light and forward drive light is on because of the handbrake's on. And then we've got our information of what gear the tractor's in, it'll tell us what forward speed is, okay, and also uh, what height the uh, hydraulic controls are at. And also when the PTO is engaged, it will tell us what P our PTO speed is. Okay, 
and obviously we've got a passenger seat here as well so it acts as a cup holder okay but a passenger seat um, which is used uh, to carry passengers or um, for sort of at college or here at college we would use that where um, teaching staff and that can uh, sit on the tractor as well okay so I hope that was useful um, again um, you know sort of use this video to sort of recap on the driving controls okay and I hope that was useful <laughs>